All right, so welcome to the challenge one recap. In this challenge, we built a flow um, for the sales team. And so we're gonna wrap up our story here and we'll just kind of uh, describe what would happen maybe in a normal Salesforce environment. So you finish building your flow for the sales team and after testing it out in the UI, just like we did, you send Marissa, who was your manager, who uh, gave you this assignment earlier today, a message in the group chat, letting her know that you finished building and testing the flow. In real life, it's only been about 30 minutes since we started building this flow, and uh, she's super impressed that you finished so quickly. Even though you've only been with the company a few months, she can tell you're exceptionally talented when it comes to Salesforce, and is pretty excited that you were able to deliver that flow so fast. She does some testing on her own and then approves it for deployment. She asks you if you can deploy it before the end of the day, and also send the sales team a chatter message letting them know that their request has been handled. Once done, Mariska asks, Marissa asks you to then close out the support ticket. And so, quick interlude. In real life, we would have built that in a sandbox environment first and then deployed it up to production. We'll talk about that later in the course, but that's what this story is referencing. Back to the story. You agree to deploy the flow and close out the support case that came to you from the sales team. Marissa thanks you again for handling that request so quickly, and uh, you have a quiet rest of the day practicing Trailhead because all the open support requests uh, have already been handled. So that's it for the story, and I just want to congratulate you on finishing the first flow of the course. Well done. Um, we started with something fairly simple, and I spent some extra time covering the basics during this challenge so that we can really get used to working together. Building your flow builder skills is kind of like climbing a mountain, and I want to make sure that we really build a solid foundation together as we progress up the slopes. So thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate and value that you are a student of this course and are taking the time and effort to uh, learn flows. You know, I don't take that responsibility lightly and I'm you know, really glad that you're here. I, I love working with people that invest in themselves and you're obviously one of those people. So I look forward to continuing that journey in the next lecture and I will see you there.